This is it. Last preseason game. And then we get some meaningful football. What is up, Finn fans? Miami Dolphins heading up to Jacksonville to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars in their final preseason game. Then two weeks until the Dolphins head to L.A. to take on the Chargers. Hopefully they leave in about a week and stay in L.A. for a week, get acclimated, get situated, and then beat the crap out of the Chargers. But today we're going to be talking about the Jaguars preseason game, kind of who I think is not going to start, who I think might start. Normally we find out about a half hour to 45 minutes before the game starts, so the game's at 7, probably around like 6. We'll know who's playing, who's not playing, but I'll give you guys an idea of who I think isn't going to play and who I think will play, kind of the things we'll be looking for, all that stuff. And again, it's the final preseason game, so I can't wait can't wait for these wins to mean something. I can't wait for these stats to mean something. And it's not all, you know, diminished by the fact that, oh, you didn't play the first strings, or, oh, this team sucks, or, oh, this, or all that. Can't wait for actual, like, legit competitiveness. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's talk about kind of who's playing and who might not be playing. Players that did not practice yesterday. Yeah, I'm like, was it yesterday? Is Eric Sol uh, Solbert... Solbert brain zach sealer jalen ramsey obviously bethel a chain deshaun hand um sanders the wide receiver wilson jeff wilson jr uh jalen waddle and i don't expect to see tyreek hill so out of those names besides tyreek hill they didn't practice yesterday so normally if you don't practice you're probably not going to play the preseason game and that doesn't bode well for bethel or for sanders or Sorbert, who's trying to make the team. Now, if you guys remember what Embry said, Miami Dolphins tight end coach, the only guy who's safe is Durham Smythe. Other than that, all the other tight ends are not safe. But we do get to see Tanner Connor tomorrow, which I'm excited. Hopefully, you know, he does some things, lights it up, and really makes us feel better about the tight end situation. I will say this, right? This has nothing to really do about the game tomorrow, but kind of a, a thought process I had. The Arizona Cardinals are getting rid of their entire team. They're, it looks like they're going to try to get Caleb Williams. Will they? I don't know. He even came out and said, look, if I don't like the team that's there, if I don't want to play for them, I'm just going to go back to college. It just is what it is. Um, so th it, they it traded Isaiah Simmons to the New York Giants for a seventh-round pick. Cost nothing. Uh, they traded their tackle cost nothing i think they they trade him for like a fifth or something and i was sitting back and i was thinking to myself <clears throat> why not go after zach Ertz? now he's gonna get 10 million this year but there's a two million dollar cap hit so it's like how much is he actually gonna get if he's traded or all that but if they're you know, unloading a ton of you know talent and it looks like they're trying to tank for you know Kayla Williams if he's going to be there, why not see if you could, hey, we'll send you a sixth and we'll take Zach Ertz off your hands. And all of a sudden, the tight end situation isn't as bad. Yes, he's an older vet, um, but it'd, it'd be like a one-year thing. Just kind of bring him in and you know go all in. Jonathan Taylor, Zach Ertz, go all in. See what you could do this year. But that's the thought process that popped in my head earlier today. Being Thursday because, you know, I normally record these videos the day before. Because, again, John Embry saying, Durham Smythe is the only one that is um, safe. Now, they did ask Mike McDaniels, two are going to play or the starter's going to play. And he said, um, from like, as of right now, more than a drive, less than a, a, than a half, I think he said, or a quarter. So he does, but he says as of right now, things could change. So will we see Tua tomorrow? I don't know. Would I want to see Tua tomorrow? Yeah. Um, For one, because it's going to be about two weeks till they play football, and I want to win. And I don't want him to come out and throw an interception on the first play. So I want him to you know, brush that rust off. I want to go in, have a series, you know, march down the field, score a touch, and you're done. 
That's what I think. You know, he comes out, he marches the offense down the field to score a touchdown, boom, you're done, sit down. Because I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be playing. There's a lot of starters going to be playing. Aaron Rodgers is going to make his debut. He's going to be playing. So I wouldn't be upset with seeing Tua. Um, but I doubt we'll see, you know, Jalen Waddle. I doubt we'll see Tyreek Hill. Uh, obviously, Jalen Ramsey. I don't think we'll see Teron Armstead. Again, he's dealing with some type of injury. We're going to see Brandon Jones. The guys who are dealing with some type of nagging injury. Brandon Jones practiced to, on a limited basis, too. But the guys who are dealing with some type of nagging, you know, lingering injuries, I doubt we'll see, right? You know, Jalen Waddle, Teron Armstead, <clears throat> A-Chain. I doubt we'll see those guys. And you don't really need to. Those are the guys that you kind of know what you're getting with, right? Connor Williams, I hope we see him. He needs to work on his snaps because, geez, we had two bad snaps. One was a bad timing and the other was above Skylar Thompson's head. Um, so he needs to work on that. And then, you know, Liam Meikenberg versus Isaiah Wynn versus this, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of that stuff going on. So that's kind of my thought process and who's going to and who's not going to play. Now, when it comes to what to look for, it's kind of the same thing. We want to see what the offensive line can do. If the starters are in there, you know, to a, you know, march them down the field score, you know, backups, see how they can do, how they perform, all that good stuff. Same thing. The trenches. Um penalties i don't want to see a lot of penalties but obviously first and foremost stay healthy i want both the jaguars and the miami dolphins to stay healthy i don't want to see any injuries i don't want there to be any excuses for the dolphins to win this season um so i don't want to see any injuries but also this is kind of big because at this point in the season <clears throat> the off season anyway all these teams are going to be watching the other teams right so, like, today there was a bunch of games being Thursday. And then tomorrow, besides the Dolphins at 7, there's going to be a bunch of games. And all of these GMs and scouts and front office executives and all that stuff are watching these games. Because, again, come the 29th, come Tuesday, everyone has to go from 90 to 53. And not only is it going to be cuts, but there's going to be trades. You already started seeing a bunch of trades. Um, Dobbs got traded from the... Browns to the, <laughs> I don't want to look it up. I just want to, <laughs> Browns, he had traded from the Brown. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> he got traded from the Browns. You're probably like commenting. He, he got traded from this to this. Um, to the Cardinals. Oh, jeez. A trade from the Browns to the Cardinals, um, which was all. So you're going to see a lot of these things. You know, if we, if the, if you can get something for somebody, they're going to try to trade, right? So say the Dolphins were to, and I don't think they're going to, but they were going to cut Mike White. Say, you know, his concussion, and he just really hasn't performed during the you know, preseason and during camp. We'll move on from him, bring somebody else in. That's what they'll do. And you might say to yourself, why would these teams even want to trade when they could just wait till Tuesday? Because then you have to worry about the waiver wire or you have to worry about other teams trying to go after them instead of you just sending a pick, like a sixth or a seventh, and you get the rights of that person without having to deal with outbidding or being a waiver wire and all that stuff. So it's going to be pretty crazy after tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't think – I think Saturday's it. I think teams are just playing – Thursday and Saturday, probably should look that up before I, you know, start spewing nonsense out of my butt. Um, no, there are games today. There's three games today, and then there's Saturday, and then there's one game on Sunday. So, the, you know, it's going to be pretty crazy, in my opinion, after tomorrow. Um, so, it's going to be interesting, and I think that's where you're really going to start to see the Miami Dolphins probably start to pluck the players. You know, you might cut down to 50 or 49 or so and you get that extra room for the four and then you can go out and grab some people again there's still a ton of good players still available like Akeem Hicks Callahan all of these guys uh are still available so you might see some of those moves happen again you got two weeks before the season starts so you can come in learn the playbook do your thing take physicals and all that stuff and kind of be ready for week one but also most definitely be ready for week two so this last preseason game is more about 
trimming the fat, seeing who's going to stay, who's going to go. Get your guys warmed up for the season so they're not going into week one cold. And then kind of looking around the NFL and being like, who can we poach? Who's going to get cut? Who's going to stay? Or who can we trade for? So, you know, tomorrow's game is going to be fun. We're going to watch it. I'll be live 645. Um, it's not going to be on TV. It's going to be on NFL Plus. Again, you can get sign up for a week free. Um, and I'll be live. We'll talk about it. We'll watch it. You know, I'll let you know who's going to be playing, who's not at 645. Ton of fun stuff. But that's what I got for you today. It's a short preview. Not much to talk about. Kind of, you know, after the Falcons and the Houston game, it's kind of the same things we're looking for. And we already got the starters to start and got it, kind of saw what they're going to do. Now it's more about getting ready for the season, and now my mind is starting to go towards the season. I have videos planned on predicting the 53-man roster, expectations for the entire team, individual videos. I'm going to predict the schedule, I mean the record. I got a lot. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 645 for the Dolphins taking on the Charge Jaguars. I'm just going to go to sleep. Um, and if any other you know, news happens, any breaking news, trades involving the Miami Dolphins, I will make a video about it. But on that, like usual, stay classy. I friends up.